Hello and welcome to another video of Great Learning. Today we are going to talk about one of the biggest competitors of Amazon AWS that is Microsoft Azure. We'll understand what Azure is, why it's gaining so much of popularity, what are the different services provided by Azure and how is it different from the AWS. So without further ado, let's begin. What is Azure? Azure is a public cloud computing platform with solutions including infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and software as a service that can be used for services such as analytics, virtual computing, storage, networking, and much more. Fight for less expensive data storage space increased tremendously after the inception of Amazon AWS. Cloud computing as a concept has evolved a lot since then. To know more about cloud computing, hit the icon above. New players like Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud, IBM enter this segment to capture the untapped potential across the globe. Azure was released in 2010 and as per a 2018 Gartner report, it captured a market share of 13.7%. Behind Amazon with still rules at 47%, Alibaba, Google Cloud and IBM fall next in the line. Now let's look at some of the services of Microsoft Azure. Azure has a humongous 22 categories of services which it provides to different segments of the industry. Some of these services are AI, ML, Analytics, Blockchain, Databases, DevOps, IoT, Networking and many more. Now let's see some important benefits of Microsoft Azure. Security Microsoft provides some of the most advanced security technology so you can be confident that your data is safely protected. Microsoft has taken major steps towards ensuring high levels of security within their cloud environment. It helps you analyze threats in real time, identify and react to suspicious user and device activity on your network, easier app management. With Azure, it's easier to build, deploy and manage the applications. An organization can launch a website or create a web app and maintain the infrastructure by customizing the cloud environment. Privacy. With Azure, you own and control the collection, use and distribution of your customer data. Microsoft provides in-depth information on how they'll handle your data. You'll know how they'll manage your data, where it's going geographically and who has the access and on what terms. High availability. Unlike many other cloud service providers, Azure provides high availability because of Microsoft's vast global footprint. With data centers located in all parts of the world, Azure can offer service level agreements guaranteeing 99.95% uptime. That amounts to less than 5 hours of downtime per year. Cost Effectiveness Azure offers a pay-as-you-go payment plan that allows businesses to have better control over their IT budgets since they purchase only what they need. Using Azure to take advantage of SaaS applications also reduces the cost of infrastructure, maintenance and management of your IT environment. Storage It is known that Azure has several data centers and delivery points. It facilitates for faster content delivery, optimal user experience, store any data and also share the data across virtual machines as required at a reliable and faster rate. Disaster Recovery Staying online all the time ensures customers or users trust. The disaster recovery capabilities of Azure like regional or global failover options, rolling reboots and the hot cold standby modes gives a strong hold against disasters. Now let's see how Azure compares to Amazon AWS. Pricing Both Azure and Amazon AWS pricing models offer pay-as-you-go structure. AWS charges you on hourly basis whereas Azure charge you on a per minute basis. When it comes to short term subscription plans, Azure gives you a lot more flexibility. In case of certain services, Azure tends to be costlier than AWS when the architecture starts scaling up. Storage services Both AWS and Azure provide long running and reliable storage services. AWS has services like S3 and EBS and Glacier, whereas storage services in Azure are blob storage, disk storage, standard archive. AWS S3 ensures high availability and automatic replication across regions. 
When it comes to temporary storage in AWS, it starts functioning each time the instance starts and stops. With Azure, it uses temporary storage and page blobs for VM volume. Azure has block storage option as a counterpart to S3 in AWS. In addition, Azure also provides two types in their storage, cold and hot storage. Database services. The data being generated these days comes in different formats. Hence, the databases that hold this data also needs to evolve. AWS and Azure both provide different database services to handle both structured and unstructured data. If you're looking for durability, AWS has Amazon RDS, whereas Azure has Azure SQL Server Database. Amazon RDS supports different database engines like MariaDB, Amazon Aurora, MySQL, Microsoft SQL, PostgreSQL, and Oracle. Whereas it comes to Azure, SQL Server Database is based on SQL as the name suggests. Networking Services Amazon Virtual Private Cloud enables creation of isolated networks under the cloud umbrella. This enables users to create subnets, route tables, private IP address ranges, and network gateways. Microsoft Virtual Network as a counterpart to VPC lets you do all the stuff VPC does. Both the vendors have solutions to extend the on-premise data center into the cloud and firewall options as well. So this was a brief about Microsoft Azure. We hope you liked this video. If you did, please like, share and subscribe to get regular updates about more such content.